This is a quick video showing how to take screenshots you've taken of a text message conversation and quickly turn them into a starting document that you can use of those text messages in the right order using the Shortcuts app. So what we're going to do first is set up the scenario. If you need to capture, you know, maybe 10 screenshots worth of text message conversations, this is a good technique to just use screenshots, get it done quickly for free because it's not that many text messages. So I'm going to use this very important conversation I have as an example uh, with X, formerly known as Twitter. So I'm going to take a few screenshots. So I'm starting with the most recent messages, just like the messages app would do. And I'm going to take a screenshot and I'm going to scroll up, take another screenshot and scroll up. And I'll do it one more time, but I think you get the idea of what's happening. So if I go into my photos app and I go into my screenshots album, I have my four message, messages screenshots that I just took. Now, if this was 10, exporting all of these and putting them into a document is a little tedious. So we can use shortcuts to help speed this up by putting, using shortcuts to take those screenshots and put them into notes for us. So what I'm going to do is first go into the notes app and create a new note called conversation with X. And I feel like conversation is a little bit of a stretch for the description, but we'll take it for now. Very one-sided conversation. So we're going to open the shortcuts app and the icon looks like this, but if you don't know where your shortcuts app is, you can just pull down and search for shortcuts and we're going to create a new shortcut. And what we're going to do in this shortcut is we're going to get some screenshots and put them into a note. So what we're going to do in this bottom drawer down here is search for the word screenshots. And we're going to select the result, get latest screenshots. And in my conversation, I only have four screenshots. So we're going to say, get the latest four screenshots. And now we're going to go into this drawer at the bottom again, and we're going to search notes. And in notes, we are going to find append to note. Probably also search append, and that might be easier. So we're going to say, get the four latest screenshots, append. And if we tap where it has the fill in, instead of text, we're going to select latest screenshots. Append latest screenshots to the note. And we want our conversation with X as the note that we want to append to. And that is it. We're going to press done. And we've got our new append to note screenshot. And we're going to tap it to run it. And it's asking us permission to take those four screenshots that we wanted and append them to the note. And if we go into our notes app now, we'll see that our conversation with X note has all of these screenshots. And you note know, the dates are like July 1st, July 3rd. And as we scroll down October, the append to notes actually appended them and got them into their correct ordering for us because it did them backwards from the order that we took them. So it worked out because we took them in reverse order and shortcuts reverse the order again. So now we actually have our conversation in the correct order in this document. And if we try to press this share button at the top and print it from here, I'm not a big fan of how this print will look because it cuts, it takes the images and cuts them off. And now each screenshot is two pages. So that's a little gross. So what we're going to do instead is tap that share and say open in pages. So now we've got the conversation with X as a pages document and each page has one screenshot on it. So now if I tap share, and do print, I'm going to have a document where each page 
is one of those screenshots. And if that's good enough because it's just a handful of pictures, then we're already done. Or if you need, you feel like you need to do a little bit of work to shrink the pictures, you have a starting document now in pages that you can go in and edit and skip the work of exporting each photo and inserting it into the document. So I hope this proves helpful. If you have a short conversation that you need to share or print, if you have a longer conversation that you want to export to a PDF, uh, I work on software called Decipher Text Message, and you can find that at decippertools.com. Decipher Text Message is software that allows you to work with your iPhone text message conversations that are a larger format and create PDF documents for those conversations that work much better when the conversations are much longer, like most real life conversations are now. So I'm showing the same conversation with Twitter X uh, as taken from my iPhone using a backup, which is how Decipher Text Message gets the conversations from your phone. And in Decipher Text Message, I can select that conversation, export, and make a PDF. And then I'll have a PDF document of all of those messages uh, in that conversation with Twitter. So for a longer conversation, Decipher Text Message is going to make your life a lot faster and easier instead of taking all those individual screenshots. But if you only have a handful of screenshots to work with, this Shortcuts app helps you make a document out of them real quick. I hope this was helpful.